From UFOs to ghosts and psychic powers, history is riddled with unexplained events. You can turn back now and learn the stuff they don't want you to know. Here are the facts. In the film The Manchurian Candidate, shadowy communist forces use brainwashing, hypnosis, and drugs to turn an ordinary U.S. soldier into an unwitting assassin. This soldier has no knowledge of his experiences. Instead, his programming is triggered by seeing a Queen of Hearts playing card. After he carries out his specified task, he forgets the entire sequence. It's a frightening proposition, and it makes for hair-raising fiction, but could it happen in real life? Several intelligence agencies actually did try to create unwilling sleeper agents, and they weren't all communist. In fact, one of them was the CIA. Here's where it gets crazy. During the 1950s, the CIA ran a top-secret operation codenamed Project Artichoke. According to a CIA memo from 1975, Artichoke is a codename for the study and use of special interrogation methods and techniques. These methods include the use of hypnosis, drugs such as morphine or sodium pentothal, and psychological torture techniques such as total isolation. Project Artichoke arose from Project Bluebird and eventually transformed into the more well-known Project MKUltra. Over the course of this project's lifetime, it addressed several disturbing questions, such as, can an individual be made to perform an act of attempted assassination involuntarily under the influence of artichoke? To answer this question, the CIA contemplated several tactics that, were they common knowledge, would have generated an enormous uproar and outrage from the American public. To this day, the details of this murky operation are largely unknown. There is evidence that the CIA used LSD on interrogation subjects and also conducted numerous interrogations and experiments with other drugs, searching for a combination of techniques and substances that could produce extraordinarily compliant, suggestible individuals. According to the current historical record, these experiments were largely unsuccessful and at times disastrous. There was also at least one documented death linked to this series of programs. About a week after a CIA representative gave Army civilian Frank Olson a dose of LSD, Olson died, crashing through a window and plummeting to the ground. The death was ruled a suicide. But how close did the CIA come to creating an unwitting assassin? The most disturbing piece of evidence comes from a 1954 memory wherein the artichoke team describes and analyzes a plan to drug a well-connected foreign national, brainwash the subject, and return them to their normal surroundings with no knowledge of the event. The goal was to make this subject an involuntary assassin. Once triggered by a certain symbol, phrase, or other stimulus, the subject would attempt to kill his or her designated target. In other words, to create a real-life Manchurian candidate. The memo states that this is a hypothetical problem and also concludes concludes that the operation would be incredibly difficult, if not impossible. There would be very little time to imprint the programming, the agency would have almost no physical control of the subject, and the access to the subject would have to take place in a social situation with non-CIA company. Additionally, the artichoke team realized that any news of the operation could ruin further missions. This evidence only proves that the agency contemplated these types of operations, but the lack of further detail leads many investigators to suppose the field operations may have been more extensive than the CIA would have the public believe. After looking through the heavily redacted files and searching for masses of missing data, we only know one thing for sure. There's still something they don't want you to know about Project Artichoke. Stay tuned to learn more about the aftermath of Project Artichoke and MKUltra.